Hi, I'm Teemu from Camino Dimension. We are a small indie studio from Finland and we have made a game called Grab the Bottle. For how long has your studio been active as an indie game studio and how many games have you guys made? So, uh, Grab the Bottle is our first like a larger game. We have made some game jam projects before, but we've been in the business for one year and we just got our first game ready. For what platforms do you normally develop games? Well, our main platform is PC, but we're also gonna port Grab the Bottle for mobile platforms as well. And in the future, we will probably focus on PC. How many people are currently working in your studio? Well, we have four people, the founders of the team, and then there's few. We have like a sound guy and uh, uh, one person who's doing some additional graphics. So the team is four to seven people, but four is the main, main team. Okay, so the team is like switching around all the time. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> What were the sources of inspiration for making Grab the Bottle? Uh, well, it's a very good question, actually. Like, our CEO just called one day, about one year ago, and said, like, hey, I have this very good idea about making a game about grabbing something from the back of a fridge. And we were like, okay, you need to tell a bit more, because it sounds kind of crazy. And, uh, yeah. We were talking about it a little bit and then came to the conclusion that would be cool if you control the stretching arm that like just goes and goes and goes and you need to just maneuver it around and dodge objects and that's how it got made, the idea. Okay, well, you have to be like really creative to think about that. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Like he gets all kinds of crazy ideas and this time we decided to just go with the idea. So what kind of game do you think Grab the Bottle is? Well, it's a bit difficult to define, but it's a puzzle game most of all and needs some precision as well. So it's just puzzle game with some uh, just precision needed, like a mixture of snake and physics puzzles, I would say. Can you say anything about the story of the game without giving too many spoilers? Okay, okay. So the story of Grab the Bottle is like a kind of proud one. So you start as a kid and the game finishes... Well, I'm not gonna tell how it finishes, but like you go through the life of the character and just normal everyday stuff of grabbing bottles as a baby and as a child and as a teenager and so on. and. Uh, there's different kinds of situations that you might get into when you want to get a bottle. So you ha you're you aging while you're grabbing different kinds of bottles? Yes, Or is the bottle much. the same all the time? No, 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 no. Obviously, uh, you know, when, as a baby, you're going to just grab some milk, but later it's <laughs> not like that. Might be a beer, might be some soda, water, any kind of bottles. Okay, well, you really have to be creative to make that. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, I think so. This grab the bottle uh, yeah, become what you planned it to become? Mm, more or less, but first we wanted it to be just a very big project, and it ended up, like the scope, we had some problems with it, and it ended up becoming a much larger project than we initially wanted, so... We wanted to make it in half a year, but it ended up taking a whole year, actually, so it came a bit bigger than originally. Uh, yeah, you took twice as long. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Did you use an engine for Grab the Bottle? Yeah, it's made by you. So we had some like uh, experience before from Game Chance with Unity, and we were thinking that we could use it or some other engine, but we ended up going with Unity because of the previous experience. 
What do you think is the best thing about Unity? Well, it's uh, comfortable. Like uh, you can build a lot by just grabbing, like tracking and dropping. But but it also allows you to get more deeper under the surface and just basically anything is possible with Unity. Just needs some learning, I would say. But uh, it's easy to get into. What do you think is the worst thing about Unity? Mm. This is a bit more difficult question, actually. Well, there's... Mm. Well, some things might be a bit unintuitive. Like, uh, there's some extra work needed with animations and stuff like that like they're constantly making it better but const like there is some moments when you just feel like okay this could be done much easier and i i could just code it in i don't want to grab like drag and drop all these files into this and so on so but on like overall i think it's a great engine for basically any kinds of games What was the overall goal for this product, and do you think you have achieved it? Mm, we wanted to make a fun game, and uh, with uh, a game that's also fun and requires some thinking. And I think we achieved it. It's a bit different than initially we thought it would be, but it's there. And we definitely achieved our goal that we had at the beginning, and even surpassed it in some ways. But I just wish that it would have taken a little bit less time. What was the overall goal for the product? And do you think you can, like... Well, it's kind of the same question, but... Uh -huh. what, what would it have been if you just stayed at the goal you had before? Uh, wait... Uh... You made the game bigger than it was, so yes. you, you, you didn't make your goal. What, what, what would it have become if you just stayed at the goal you had? Hmm, well, if if we just made it a little bit smaller, we would already be making another project and yeah. that would be a nice thing. Now we are still tied to grab the bottle, it's, it's, a, it's a great game, but uh, there's some voices in, in our team that are saying that that it's taking too long, but finally it's done, so now we can... Of course, we are still gonna do some bug fixing and updating and grab the bottle, but we can move on. That's cool. What was the biggest challenge in the production of Grab the Bottle? Um, maybe... The, one of the big challenges was that graphics just kept taking more time than code. So we had the like the main engine of controlling your arm done by like, quite quickly, and then drawing the graphics just took and took and took, and uh, that was a bit problematic. But then we started arranging the rows around and. Uh, I who I was mainly a coder, but I started doing also level design and so on, and uh, just just managing everything, the big picture and uh, roles of the team was a bit tricky. So you learned a lot during this project. Yes, definitely. Like uh, and everything that we learned, we're using for our next project. So yes, was definitely uh, one year of learning. Well, that's a good thing. Yes. You didn't only get a game, but you also learned something. <laughs> Did you get any help from the industry to develop or promote Grab the Bottle? Mm, oh well. Mm, I need to think. Like, uh, well, we were some some talks. Like, we were in contact with one one another indie game team from Finland, and they were telling us about the best practices they had learned and like a little bit about marketing and uh, 
what we should do and so on and so on. So there was some consulting we got from older teams than we got. And that was very cool. Thanks to everyone. What do you think is currently helping and hurting the indie game industry? Uh, again? What do you think is currently helping or hurting the indie game industry? Ah, well, I would say that there's lots of games being made, and uh, Steam, while it's basically the well, not the only platform on PC. There's Game Jolt and other places to have your indie games on. But if you really want to sell your game, then Steam is one of the only good options other than some examples and there's so many games there's a flood of games and not all of them are even games and that's kind of sad because there's so many good indie gems around there and then there's also just some like uh, copies of other games and quick ports and stuff like that so it's very difficult to get noticed i would say yeah there was a lot of games yes yes <laughs> Which uh, game conventions or events do you plan on attending this year? Mm, we've been in a few in Finland, but they are mostly small ones. Uh, hmm. And then there's, there's, well, there's been talk that we would be going to, to Tokyo Game Show, but, but we don't know yet. But it's a possibility, so that would be cool. What do you personally uh, think about each platform? Personally, I'm uh, well. I'm a big Nintendo fanboy, but I mostly play my games on PC these days. In the past, I was console gamer, but now I I mostly play everything on PC. And if well, I'm very interested in getting me a Switch. So soon, I might. Just get one. I, I love Zelda, so I wanna play Breath of the Wild. Why did you choose to go into game development? Hmm. Well, well, my background is in programming, and uh, then at some point, it started like uh, I started thinking that it would be cool to actually make games because I liked playing them and uh, I was uh, graduating and at the same time uh, one of my friends was graduating from design school and we were thinking together that we could just make this game studio we were doing some game jam projects together before and uh, we asked a couple of other friends and one another guy and just went with the studio and started making games so just love to watch the industry i would guess what type of education have you done uh, what can you say it again what type of education have you done ah yeah so i last year i graduated as a, a master of computer science so that's my background for computer science to gaming. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> what type of games do you normally play in your free time? Mm, uh, well, I play kind of lots of different games, but I like RPG games and even some simpler ones like Pokemon games and uh, then some amount of action games, shooters, it depends. I usually like how one shooter that I play from time to time and then everything else changes on, like changes pretty quickly. So lately I haven't really had any time to play that much, but right now I'm always done with, almost done with Life is Strange. It's a pretty cool, cool story experience. So. <clears throat> and also need to say that I like to play a lot of small games, like uh, story-based indie games, like uh, To The Moon was pretty cool, for example. Well, I'm actually playing an, 
in the game that is story based right now. And oh. according to Steam reviews, it's about two hours long. So I'm already okay. at the end, I guess, but I like it. <laughs> okay. Uh, would you share the name? What's the game? Uh, Skyler and Plux. Okay. I'll maybe check it out. Yeah, they, it's a pretty cool game. It's uh, a bit mm. like uh, Ratchet and Clank. I oh. think that that's okay. the, that 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 comes really close to it. Okay. Yes. I expected a Ratchet and Clank like game, and when I started playing it, I got it. So yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it gave me what I expect. expected. <laughs> yes. Yes. What is your favorite game of all times? Mm, probably some games on Super Nintendo. It has uh, like a terrific lineup of games. Maybe Super Met Metroid or Final Fantasy VI are some of my favorites. Now you're giving the same answer as the guy from yesterday. Are you uh, a clone <laughs> from him or something? <laughs> no, I, I don't know who had yesterday. But maybe they're just very good games. So, lots of fans. Well, I haven't played them, so I can't judge uh, them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you want to say about Grab the Bottle or your studio or yourself? I mean, if you want to tell everyone what your favorite color is, I allow you. <laughs> well, my favorite color is yellow. <laughs> hey, now everyone knows your favorite color is yellow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would just say that Grab the Bottle, while it's. It might be a bit difficult to sell, like it's kinda different and looks a bit strange but give it a shot it's kind of funny and uh actually it's a lot of fun and <laughs> oh i'm very bad at selling my own game <laughs> you're almost in, uh, on the market like buy my <laughs> game it's fun <laughs> <laughs> okay that, that 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 was a bit weird but yeah <laughs> yes, uh, just like a game so well, yeah, I haven't played it yet, but it mm -hmm. looks pretty funny. It looks like a yeah. mobile game, though, but yeah. Yes, yes, but yeah, it's fully a PC game, but we are also porting it on mobile later, so that's kind of funny. Yeah, well, I, I can't play on mobile because I don't have the devices for it, so I'm glad uh, it's for a PC. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, um, yeah, I'm out of questions. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I guess that's the interview then. <laughs> that, that's the interview then. Unless you want to say anything else. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Maybe it's better that I stay silent and don't embarrass myself or the game anymore. You are not embarrassing yourself or your game. Okay. Sometimes things have to be funny for the viewer. It's YouTube. Yes. If it's not funny, people will stop watching. Oh, that's true as well. So, yeah, I want to thank you for your time, then. Ah, thank you, too. It was a nice, nice interview, I would say. Thank you. <laughs> I tried my best on this question, so yay. Oh. Maybe yeah, I have to invent more questions to make it more funny. No, Extend the fun. personal parts from only games oh. to, like, everything. Mm. Yeah, you could ask everyone what's their favorite color. Yeah, well, I don't know if that's interesting to watch. <laughs> yeah, that's not very relevant to many people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, then we are going to end the interview here. Yes. <laughs>